In this video, I'm reviewing the Nespresso Virtual Plus together with the Aerochino 3, so let's get started. I'm reviewing the Virtual Plus Deluxe model, which has a bigger 60 ounce water tank. The base of the water tank can be rotated. You can have it on the right side of the machine, the center back of the machine, or on the left side. The Deluxe model also comes with chrome finishing. It has a chrome finish drip tray which is also the cup support and the cup holder can be adjusted to four different heights. At the back is the capsule holder that can hold up to 10 capsules and I'll just show you underneath at the back here where the capsule drops out from. And it's very easy to just pop the capsule holder back in. When you turn the machine on, the green light will blink indicating it's heating up and it'll take up to 25 seconds. When the machine's not being used, it'll automatically turn off after 9 minutes, which is a bit long considering the Virtual Next is only 2 minutes long. You can also turn it off manually by pushing the lever down and holding it for 3 seconds. Before you use the machine, you'll need to perform a cleaning cycle. Fill up the water tank, plug in the machine and place a large jug in front, enough to hold at least 1 litres. And then press the button 3 times. You'll see a steady orange blinking light. And it'll take about 85 seconds before the water starts to dispense. And it's going to do about three of these cycles by itself and the whole thing will take about five minutes. So I'm just going to let it do its thing and I'll start to open the coffee capsules that came in the box. And I'm also going to open the Arachino 3. So it looks like my cleaning cycle is done so I'll just throw the water out and I'm also going to wash out the Arachino before I use it. I forgot to do this earlier but I'll just give you guys the dimensions very quickly. Width is 5.6 inches but with the tank on the side it becomes 8.7 inches wide. Starting from the edge of the drip tray to the back of the machine the depth measures at 13.2 inches but with the water tank placed at the back, it becomes 16.7 inches in depth. And then the height is 12.8 inches. I completely forgot to open the lid, but with the lid open, it's 16.9 inches tall. Okay, so let's make some coffee. Let's take a look at the capsules first, and you'll see that there are five capsule sizes, starting with a 40ml espresso, an 80ml double espresso, 150ml Gran Lungo, 230ml coffee size, and then a 414ml Alto. And they're all marked with their names and the sizes, and the lines that you see on the rim are the barcode which the machine will read. So I'm going to make a Melozio, and this is the best feature that I like about the machine is the simple light touch on the lever to automatically open and close. So pop in the capsule and gently tap the lever down to close it and then press the button once to begin brewing.
and on top you'll see that beautiful crema which Nespresso is known for and you can see some air bubbles forming in the crema there within seconds so you really don't want to leave the coffee sitting there for too long otherwise you're just going to lose all that push up the lever and the capsule will automatically drop to the capsule container I'll just show you the needle area and you can just remove the capsule container by using one of these convenient holes here there's one on the left and one on the right so the capsule holder inside the coffee machine is not removable so it's a good idea to just give it a clean with some paper towel otherwise you'll get some coffee bits in there I also mentioned this in my Nespresso Virtual Next video um, like I said I'll leave a link if you guys want to watch that getting back to the Arecino inside the Arecino you'll see two levels of marking the lower level is to be used with the spring if you want to create froth milk and the upper level is to be used without the spring and when you pop it into the Arecino it'll connect magnetically and so that you don't misplace the uh, spring when you do take it off on the lid here there are these two little handles and that's to store the spring onto there so that you don't misplace it anywhere and you can just keep leave it on there when you don't want to use it and you can also uh, use those as a little handle to hang on the edge of the arrochino if you want to leave it open just to kind of air it out and if you guys are wondering how much liquid the Arecino holds, the first level holds up to six ounces. I'm just measuring water here. And then the second level will hold up to 10 ounces of liquid. The Arecino is just the top part that holds the liquid. The bottom part is mostly just the motor. So even though the size of it looks pretty tall, the whole thing does not hold that much liquid. I'm going to pop in some fresh dairy milk on the lower marking level because I'm using the spring and I want to create some froth and to make a cold froth you're going to press and hold the button for two seconds and you'll see a blue light just press the button once for hot milk and I'll just show you here you can hear it Once it's done, the light will go off. And look at that beautiful froth in there. And you want to use this straight away. If you let it sit there, it's just going to go flat. So I'm just going to pour this in first and look at that beautiful thick froth. I'm going to pop in a capsule. I'm just going to make a double espresso. And my apologies in advance if you see my hand coming through, but the machine is vibrating quite a bit and I'm worried that the mug might fall off. And look at that, it looks absolutely beautiful. 
see all those beautiful layers there with the thick froth on top. So the froth just rolls all the way to the top of the mug and the coffee went down to the bottom. And even when you stir the coffee together as well, the froth will not move at all. Beautiful. So overall, I definitely love this machine much better than I did the Virtual Next. I love that I can move the water tank on the side so that it's easier for me to pick it up. And the machine is not as loud as the Virtual Next, I find. Let me know what you guys think. And also, I love the automatic open and close feature. The only thing that I am a little bit wary about is the vibration causing the mug to move around on the cup holder. Other than that, I'm so glad I upgraded my Virtual Next to this machine. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment below, and I hope to catch you guys in my next video.